Ladies and gentlemen, Jesse Warden here. I'm going to teach you today a quick intro to integration testing. Unit testing is, I have a function, I test it, I have this function, I test it, and on down the line. Integration is when you either A, bring them all together, or B, it usually has to do with I.O. So I'm testing text files, I'm testing a web server. Integration testing can be challenging because if you're doing I.O., reading and writing files, you actually have to write real files, and you may have to clean up your mess afterwards. So they're good to know, can I actually write to the file system that I have permissions? They're fantastic. It's a great way to say, all right, my Unit test is supposed to be really fast. My integration test can be slower, but I really need to know, does it integrate and do what it's supposed to do? In the case of reading and writing databases, cleaning that stuff afterwards is really, really hard. Be aware this is gonna take about two or three videos to get right. The first one is gonna go over what the API is, what we've done from a unit test perspective to make sure that our integration tests are very focused. We have to write very few integration tests. We've significantly lowered our surface area or amount of code that we actually need to do integration tests on. We've made it as simple as possible to just integration test those two pieces and feel good about our code because we've unit test everywhere else. And we've made sure that any of the code, the integration test, making a service call, right? Making a call to the server and getting data back that all the pieces that make that happen are significantly unit tested. Everything else around that is strictly just, okay, we call a URL and it returns JSON. That's the restify part that we're gonna say, all right, if I hit this URL, I should get this back, right? So that's the true integration test. You have to have a running server. You have to manage to get JSON back. In the case of real applications, you might have to have a bunch of running servers. Even if it's not microservices, you have two monoliths. You have to have a database there. So there's a lot of setup to make sure integration happens. So even if it all is up, the integration still has all that latency of going back. So they're not that fast. And so you want to make sure that your code's in a good place before you venture down this path. Right? Just like working out, you got to make sure you sleep before you worry about how much you eat, right? And then your macros, the same concept applies here as well. We got to make sure that our unit testing and coverage is legit before we venture down the integration test path. So we have a REST API here created in RESTify, one of the plethora of node middlewares that you can choose from. And what it allows us to do is easily create REST APIs specifically around JSON. If all you care about is JSON, you don't care about serving HTML files or HTML, you just wanna have a server somewhere that spits back JSON. Maybe it gets from a database, maybe it gets from text files, maybe it gets it from other REST APIs. It could just be an orchestration service. Whatever it is, Node is wonderful at string parsing, and that's what we're using it for, to get that. The only two things we care about in this case is ping, to verify it works, and it sends a response to Pong. And if it's up and working, then we can actually get some real data out of it to give us a lot of JSON. We'll run our npm start, which will run our node index.js. And if we go to API ping at localhost 880, you will see a pong, a standard maybe, it sends back, right? A result of true or false and data, if anything, otherwise an error if it failed. Ping is there just to verify, is your server even working at this port, at this URL? Yes, it is. You can see it's working here. If I were to stop the server, you could verify that it's no longer working by simply hitting refresh. So ping is a great way to verify it's there. If you restart it and then go to API slash data, we'll get a lot of data. It sends back an array of characters, each with a particular class. And you can modify this based on the variable. So if I want a party that's steampunk instead of adventure-based, I'll get alchemists, troubleshooters, and witch doctors. So same people, but from a completely different type of set of people for getting a list of characters for a game, for example. Get URLs are not puts or posts. So integration tests tend to be very challenging because you may modify data outside of your program. We want to be very, very cognizant of what we're doing there. If there's another developer working on it, maybe some people are actually testing that application. Unit tests are supposed to be fast because developers run them a lot. And if they're slow, developers won't do it. Part of the reasons developers don't unit test is because there's test suite is slow or a pain to use. We've made sure that all unit tests are fast and really simple. And if you go to this API, you'll notice that it does very little. There's only like two lines of code here, uh, two wrap functions for the Pong. And the reason for that is we wanna make sure that we test everything around that. So our integration tests can be very focused. And while integration tests tend to be slower because they actually have latency on purpose, right? They're going to the internet, they're reading text files, they're maybe accessing some internal C wrapper in the case of embedding your JavaScript app in something else. So we want to be fast. If you look at NPM test, it's pretty quick running 16 unit tests and it takes 50 milliseconds. So that's fantastic. Integration tests will take longer. Another thing too, is if we do NPM run show coverage, you can see that we've done our best to cover about 70% of the code is covered, right? Pure functions make it very easy to test. All we really care about are these two REST APIs. The actual server functionality, RESTify handles that. So we're not worried about this and this and you know native promises. What we're really concerned about is these two. And we've managed to test everything internally 
that has to do with serving that type of data. Unit tester fast is majority of the content. Integration tests are gonna actually say, all right, if your REST API server is up and I call those URLs with a variety of parameters, do they work or not? Our unit tests are good. We've got about 16. I'll let you look at the code on your own time. This is pure functions to get it to work. And our unit tests handle all those tests to import those functions, test them that make sure the data, but none of this actually has anything to do with URLs going to servers. You'll notice there's no promises here. It's, you know, no callbacks. It's very quick synchronous code is testing that these functions return data as we expect. And there's only like one or two mocks. In our integration test, you'll notice that we differentiate between test and integration. Test is make it quick. It has to have a dot test extension where integration is integration test. And that way I can have a star dot test. None of these unit test files will get confused with the integration test files. Very clear delineation that these may be modifying data and they may take a bit longer to go.